Hello guys, welcome to my channel PyLearning. If you are a Python developer, Python enthusiast or someone who is curious to know more about Python programming, consider subscribing. Python has a wide range of data types. One of the most commonly used data types is list. To create a list, place all the items you want inside square brackets separated by comma. List can contain anything. It can have any number of items and they can be of different types. We can also have nested lists. In that case, a list can have another list as an item of its own. Now let's talk about accessing elements of a list. We can use the same indexing method that we saw for strings in lists as well. So a list having 4 elements will have index from 0 to 3. We can also have negative indexing for our list the same way as we had for strings. So for the same list, our indexing will go from minus 4 to minus 1. Now beware, if you try to access an index other than the existing ones, Python will return us an index error. Also, always use an integer data type for indexing. If you try to use some other data type, Python will return us a type error. We can slice a list using the index of its elements. The slice also returns a list data type. Remember, the ending index is not included in the slice. During our practice session, we are also going to look at some popular list methods and use them on lists. So guys, let's get started. So guys, let's start talking about lists. As we discussed before, lists can contain any number of elements that you want to put inside it. For example, I can say list underscore 1. I can say this is a list with 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, comma. I can also say list underscore 2 equal to a comma b comma c. I can also mix them up together and say list 3 equal to 1 comma a comma 2 comma b. So basically list can contain anything. We can also have nested lists. So in that case we have one list inside another list. So basically what we, I can say is list underscore nested equal to I can, say, I can say 1 comma then another square bracket 1 comma 2 comma 3 and then 2 again. So this is the perfect example of a nested list. Now guys let's talk about indexing. Now here let's say we remove all of these and just use one list. So list underscore 1 I can say if I want to find out the first element of the list I can say list underscore 1 comma 0. So basically now if I print it Python is going to return me 1. Also similarly I can keep doing this I can say uh, return me the index 1 of the list and Python is going to return us 2. This is basically similar to indexing in string. So here if I say instead of 1 I say minus 1 Python is going to return me the last element in the in the list. So here if I do minus 1 index Python is going to return us 4. So basically any list with n number of elements will have index from 0 to n minus 1. So this is an this is a list with 4 elements and therefore it will have index from 0 to 3. Now remember one thing like we discussed if you try to find the index in a string where the index is uh, greater than the length of the string, uh, length of the list, then Python is going to return us an index error. So for example, if here I know that the index, it's a four, uh, uh, there are four items in the list and therefore the index has to lie between 0 and 3. However, here if I uh, try to find out the fifth index of the list, you can see Python returned us an index error. So basically always try to keep uh, your indexes within the length of the list. Basically the, uh, the maximum value of an index should be the length of the list minus 1. Right? So also remember one thing, always use integers 
positive or negative integers to calculate the to get the index of the list so for example if uh, i print list 1 uh, index 2 i will get 3 however if i try to replace 2 with 2.0 python is going to return me a type error so basically indexes can always be should always be an integer they should never be float or string or anything they should always be integer so guys let's talk about slicing lists now slicing of lists is same as slicing of strings that we discussed in our string tutorial now if you haven't watched the string tutorials i would suggest going back to the string tutorials watching it and then coming back however i'm still going to explain to you how the slicing of lists work here so basically if uh, slicing of lists works in the same way uh, if we want uh, some want to slice out some elements from the list we have to use a starting index and an ending index with a slicing operator right so here i can say let's say i want to get the second and the third elements of the list right so two and three basically so i can say here print list underscore one and then within square brackets i can mention the starting index here the starting index is one so i can mention one and then the slicing operator colon and then i can mention the ending index now remember when you mention the ending index the ending index uh, element is not taken into account right so basically i have to mention here three so the three uh, index refers to the fourth uh, fourth element in the list and this will be dropped so python will only return me this uh, first index and the second index and it will forget the third index so let's print this out so basically it returns us a list with two and three in it right so this is how the basic slicing in lists work now let's let's talk about steps so in string tutorials we saw how the steps worked in lists the steps work the same way for example uh, let's say i want to get all the elements from the list from the first to the last element with two steps with steps equal to two so how, how would i write it right so i can say the first element is zero uh, the zeroth index slicing operator the ending index is the last element so i can say three so because there are four elements in the list uh, so the index uh, max index of the list would be three and then i can again uh, mention the slicing operator and i can say step equal to two now if i print this python is going to return me one and three how so basically it will start at the zeroth index <clears throat> it will take one into account and then since we have mentioned step two it will skip the first uh, first index here so basically two here and then directly jump to the third element so that that is why we get one and three as return from python when we mention step two for this list so basically this is how slicing works in lists so guys let's discuss some popular python methods that we can use on lists so for example how can we calculate the length of a list to calculate the length of the list we are going to use the same op uh, method that we used on strings so the length method so to calculate the length i can say print len and within brackets i can mention list underscore one so here if i print this python is going to return me four so this is the way you calculate the length of a list this is similar to strings now let's say i want to add another element to the list right uh, right now i have four elements i want to add another element for that i can use the append method in uh, python so i can basically say here list underscore one dot append and then let's say i want to append five to the list so uh, within brackets i can say five and then i can print list underscore one and then we can see that python returns us the list with five appended to it right we have an extra element five because we appended five to the list now remember there are two things one when we uh, use the append method the element is only appended to the end of the list it will never happen that five you will find the five in the middle of the list or at the beginning of the list it is always appended to the end of the list and the second append only takes one argument into account so for example i put two arguments i say okay append five comma three it is python is going to throw us an error it will say append takes exactly one argument 
so keep these things in mind now we have learned how to add elements to the list how about how can we remove elements from the list to remove elements from the list there are two methods one is the remove method and one is the pop method let's take a look at the remove method right so let's say now i want to remove okay first let's uh, delete this yeah let uh, let's say i want to remove 5 again so i appended 5 now i want to remove 5 so all i can say is list underscore 1 dot remove 5 and then if i print list underscore 1 you can see the entire transition basically so you you see first 5 was appended to the list and then 5 was removed from the list now there is another way in which i can remove elements from the list and that is using the pop method now remember when you use pop method you actually get that element returned by python i'll explain uh, i'll show you what i'm explaining basically so pop method with pop method i can say popped element equal to list underscore one dot pop and now if we don't mention anything in pop uh, python is going to assume it's minus one so minus one is basic right so if uh, it is uh, it is the standard thing that python is going to assume so if i uh, print pop element now okay before that uh, okay we are already printing uh, list one so we'll know so let's run so you see here uh, uh, while this statement was executed list underscore one was one two three four right and then pop when we do pop uh, the pop method basically removes the last element from the list because uh, it assumes that uh, inside brackets it's minus one so basically the minus one index so uh, here you are supposed to pass the index of the list that you want to pop right now after print pop element let's print the list again so it's more clear so here if i print the list you see four is popped out and the the uh, uh, after the four is popped out the list is one comma two comma three so there are four elements now there are only three elements so this is how pop works now instead of uh, empty uh, parameter if i mention zero index here then the popped element will be one let's verify this so now if i run this now you see now python popped one here because we mentioned zeroth index here right so that's why the popped element is one and the remaining list is two comma three comma four so basically this is how pop and remove work to remove elements from the list except the one th difference is remove does not return anything it just removes it pop returns the removed element and you can actually use that value right so now let's look at how we can sort an element of a list right let's say i declare another list here list underscore two and i say i put uh, numbers in random order 1 comma 45 comma 2 comma 34 comma 89 comma 78 all right now if i want to sort the elements of the list in ascending order i can say list underscore two dot sort that's it and now if i print list underscore two python is going to return me a list with elements sorted so this this is how basically the sort element works so now the last method uh, or it's not a method really but it's how you can replace an element of a list right so let's say there is 145 2 34 89 78 let's say i don't want um, the second element of the list to be 45 i want the second element of the list to be just 5 so all i can do here is list underscore 2 the second element of the list has index 1 and I will just say 5 right that's all I'm going to do and then when I print out list underscore 2 Python will have replaced 45 with 5 and return us the list so this is basically all the popular Python methods that you can use with lists. I really recommend you practicing these methods on your own taking some random data from the internet and just keep practicing them so you get better at them because they are really going to be useful in the future thank you guys for watching this video if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends 
If there is something particular about Python that you want me to talk about in my videos, please mention them in the comment section below. See you later in the next tutorial.